Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on Feed the Beast Integration by Parts. And you can see things look a little bit different around here. Now I just got off doing a, a live stream that's up on the channel. You can go and check it out where I basically built this guy, which is the Dusk Stone Mixer. And we also finished with the Plate Presser. Now this guy is currently working, I think. Uh, it's currently filling up with mana so i guess we can tell this to look to the ground <laughs> and not waste our mana uh this guy should have plenty of mana yeah he does and we have the, the smelter over here we have our home we upgraded a little bit on our charcoal generation over here and i still don't really know what's the best to get this is this a shovel I think a shovel is the best option for this. And in terms of quest lines, we stopped over around here. We have technically finished the first chapter, which basically revolves around uh, understanding how the, everything works, how the smelter works, and how we have to use the smelter and all those things to make the duskstone mixer, and then how this guy would work. And if you're having troubles making this thing work, basically what I did is having a faucet there, one block above, sear channel and then it pours from there it goes into here and then it goes directly into here so basically if i put an obsidian block i can pour it and it will immediately go into the right side the mana of course needs to be put into here so we could just do it like this for example and it goes directly into there and i just put it to the ground so it doesn't waste any of it and of course the output is at the back and we got some dust of ingots here waiting for us here we have the plate presser which is pretty much the same but you can do this by hand where you just put uh, like for example iron here and you get the iron plates here which is what we needed right now to progress a little bit further now i don't really know how far i can get into today but hopefully we can reach all the way to here to this immersive engineering uh, quest because as soon as we make this thing we are actually going to be able to unlock one of the houses this house i want this house don't ask me why i want this building as soon as we get this building we're gonna start making very good productions and why do i want that because it looks cool it, it just looks cool uh first we need to do this we need to make an iron casing now an iron casing revolves around iron plates which we already, we already have with the plate presser some mason stones this is pretty much just a craft with gravel and, and cobblestone so it's pretty cheap and then we need smoky quartz now smoky quartz fear not you may look at this recipe and be like well what is this uh if you follow the quest line it really tells you exactly what you need to do but you I, it doesn't say here but be warned uh oh wait that's say uh, here i guess i didn't read it when i did it <laughs> uh, the sword gets consumed so if you make a mana steel sword you just put some quartz on top of a living rock you right click with the sword but the sword is gone so you need to be careful with that so ideally you would put a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of nether quartz here and then you use that just right click and then make like two three four stacks like how many how many you need and you just do it with one sword not have to make multiple i, I did like two on the live stream or something uh, and then afterwards you can actually have the smoky quartz and then you have the iron plates if you already have the plate presser and you do the mason stone and you get yourself an iron casing and there we go iron casing now done now a cool little recipe over here is this one now if you get four pieces of smoky quartz you can make a block of smoky quartz now this block can make you mobs it literally it's literally said this is if you right click on the block a mob will be summoned and it depends on the four blocks adjacent to the quartz block. Now, it will be, it's just the blocks will always be in symmetrical layout and works in both orientations. So, for example, if you have a block of rotten flesh, it will summon a zombie. If it has a bone block, it will summon a skeleton, and so on and so forth. Which basically allows you to hand pick a mob in case you need it. So that's pretty good. 
uh, if you're if you're asking me, that's that's pretty good. So whenever you need a specific mob, you can use one block of smoky quartz to actually give you that specific that specific mob. And now having access to the iron casings, we can now make this, which means we can now move into power. We need an energizing orb, which can use any sort of glass. So we can go ahead and use this here. And the recipe is pretty simple. Just use some dusk stone and boom, we have the energizing orb. Now it does require this, the energizing rod starter. Now this guy needs dielectric rod. So I need to make this and this needs the electric paste and this uses smoky quartz, flour and clay in water to make a little bit of, 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 of some stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and grab like four of these and four. I think I might need a little bit extra. Grab a couple of resources and we're going to go ahead and make pretty much everything we need. So I believe I have the right proportion. So four smoky quartz with eight clay balls and 16 flour together should give me, yep, a stack of dielectric paste. Now with this paste, we're going to use together with our bedrock crystals that we got in from the, the other episode. So if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. And then you can go ahead and make yourself the basically these ones, the rods, the other rods. So we're really pretty, pretty close to finishing this. So we only need one of these cubes and we got one. And we now need to make these basic capacitors, which only needs a couple of redstones. So if we do this, we can even do another one and we got this and we can make with one nether quartz, which don't have oh i don't oh i don't really have one because i used them all to make smoke quartz so right now i'm on a phase uh where i want to start maximizing basically all of my resources now i went to the nether and i got myself some nether quartz and also by the way if you wonder what armor i'm using i'm using osmium armor which i believe is one of the best sets you can have uh just right off the bat because it's pretty easy to get your health your hands on osmium um and it's a pretty good armor set plus the sword is also pretty good i believe it's even better than diamonds uh, diamond only does seven hearts osmium does eight uh, the armor is pretty much the same in terms of resistances but it has 10 percent knockback resistance so yes please go all the way with osmium and you can also do yourself an osmium paxel uh of course you can all do all the other tools but an osmium paxel is also pretty good and you can also do an osmium shield if you're the one the type of guy that likes shields and of course it's also a pretty good material to make a bunch of other resources from tinkers but like i said i want to maximize my resources and in order to maximize my resources i need to try and get as much as i can from this nether quartz ore and i got it on ore because i put silky on my pickaxe as you can see in order to do this that's pretty easy you make yourself any sort of tinker construct uh pickaxe and you go over here to the silky tab and as you can see you need to have at least one modifier uh, available on your tool and you got to put silky cloth now silky, silky cloth just take some rose gold and some string if you want string you don't even need to kill spiders you can just use hemp hemp grows pretty fast so you should have no string issues and of course the um, the rose gold you got to put it through the smeltery over there in order to do it but of course in order for me to actually have this amazing slime steel pickaxe i kind of needed to and of course to upgrade it as well i need to make this the stinker's anvil now the tinker's anvil is pretty easy to do if you know how to get your hands on a pretty cool block called slime steel now slime steel for me is pretty amazing because it only takes iron slimes uh silky no uh, sky slime sorry sky slime and seared stone now if you've been mining you have iron if you're making a tinker's um smeltery you have seared stone and the only thing missing is sky slime now sky slime is also pretty easy to get all we need is well one of those islands up there if you have one of those islands near you if you get close enough slimes will start spawning on there and then if you get even closer 
you'll start seeing them literally drop from the sky now this is pretty pretty handy you can get yourself a lot of slime just from doing this just from getting up close to one of these islands and then just waiting just wait a little bit uh and they should start falling because they're pretty easy to get uh on those islands because i don't even think they take mob cap i'm not sure uh but what i did is just literally waited here until some of them fell to the ground they don't take fall damage so that's good for them i guess uh and afterwards i just went ahead and killed them now none is falling and if none is falling you can just run back and run again so maybe mobs despawn and then they can spawn all the way up there or just wait a little bit and one should eventually fall now if you have the map they do not show in the map if they're too high up uh if they were a little bit closer they would show as red dots on the map so if they're closer to them uh you should see red dots appearing and jumping and doing things on the island uh, if you're far away like me you're not gonna see anything but after you get your hands on this tinker's anvil what i advise you to do is this guy the vein hammer now this is pretty good for mining and i have this sky slime because this this actually has an extra durability and i use this to power this up a little bit more uh, but the vein hammer is pretty good because you don't have a vein miner traditionally you can get a few vein miner tools you can get even a vein mining book which i could use in like a nosmium pickaxe for example uh but i don't, really don't want to do that i want to use this guy and i want to save that book maybe for later and this guy takes quite a bit of resources so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit i think i calculated this to be 20 ingots total i'm gonna make a full or maybe not a full vein miner hammer out of slime steel but i'm definitely gonna be using slime steel for the the heads now trying to maximize my speed here i actually went for several different resources now i made the handle be to be made out of rose gold because this actually gives me a 1.25 attack uh, mining speed now it does have a low durability so i have to compensate somewhere which i uh, for that i use my slime steel hammer head which has pretty good durability on then I still wanted to keep up with a decent mining speed so and a good material. So I went with Tinker's Bronze for the head and this plate. I wanted a lot of mining speed as well. So I went with the Inferium Large Plate. Now this would give us this guy, which if I can, I can take a look here. It has a mining speed of 2.44, which seems to be decently fast. So, for example, my pickaxe has a mining speed of 7. That's because it's entirely made out of that. This guy is 2.44, but we need to bear in mind that this guy is going to be mining a lot of resources in one go. So, for example, if I was to find some ore and I started to mine this, you can see that, yeah, it mines a lot of resources, which is pretty great. Now, it mines mostly forward still. It's an amazing resource to, to have while we're out mining. Mines a lot, a lot of things in one, just one go. Yeah, you can see like the range of it. it goes like in a big area, really. Uh, but ideally, we want to use this on ores. So it actually only mines the ores. Now, since this is going to be my the one i'm going to be using to literally mine for coal for redstone for lapis and all those things i want to upgrade this guy with luck or fortune and so if you guys want to get yourselves luck or fortune this should be the recipe right here is yeah you get luck which gives cool cool more things you know but the thing with luck is that it actually has several levels and the first level is the one that i just did the second level requires two ender pearls golden carrot and some gold ingots and the next the next one actually requires a rabbit's foot which probably the hardest thing to get but it's very very helpful so all you have to do is get yourself your tool and you just go ahead and put the enchantment and it goes on top it goes from lucky or from luck to luckier 
Now, I don't know what this guy, this guy's trying. He's been here. I don't know what he wants. He can, I guess he sells a willow sapling. I would like to buy these boots because I think they upgrade in terms of level, but I don't have emeralds for you, man. You can go away. And I just went ahead and smashed 30 something blocks of nether quartz and I just got myself 63. Now it could have been better if I have the next version, but I don't have a rabbit's foot, so I can't really upgrade this further. And there we go. Now we made this rod. We can go ahead and collect these resources right here. And now comes the crazy resource gathering part again, where we need to make coke bricks. Now coke bricks require ethic quartz, as you can see. Now this guy is a block of quartz with 12,000 uh, FE and it makes one ethic quartz. I'm going to have to make some math to see. I believe I'll need nine of these. So I need nine quartz blocks. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and just grab them real quick. I should have everything I need. Yeah. There we go. Nine of these. And then that means I'm going to need 20. No, I need tw nine, nine. So 18, 18, 30, 36 bricks and 36 mixed, uh, which means I need to probably make some peats and all these things. I'm, I'm going to see if I have everything. I think I might have all the resources needed here. Hopefully I do. Now, the thing about the ethic quartz that we need to do is actually power. Because that's why we need to first go into here and behold, Perry the platypus. No, it's actually the furnator. Yes. <laughs> so we got to have a furnator here. We have pretty much everything right here. We just literally need a furnace. So it's just some eight of these and we go ahead and we do this we also need one of the cubes which is also a pretty basic and straight up recipe and i guess you can just search for it real quick here no 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 and no and yes and we got ourselves a furnator now why do we need a furnator we need the furnace to actually give us power so i'm actually going to use this little spot up here on the room this little room right here we're gonna put the furnator right there and we're gonna start giving it some coal so it actually starts generating some power now i'm gonna go ahead and place one of you inside but we do still need some cables now the cables are a little bit tricky but we do have this which means we can go ahead and craft 12 of these basic uh, or starter cables and this process is going to be slow. It, it is going to be slow. We're just going to put like two rods here on each side. They should automatically link up to a thing. Yep, they are. And there we go. You can see it's actually starting to produce things. It's, of course, losing the power that it's generating. This takes 12,000 per block. So we got to sit here a while while we do this. And after a little while of just waiting, <laughs> literally, we now can make this bad boys. Yes, 27 coke bricks, which actually, if we go over here, give us another 27 oak bricks. It also gives us a fluid transporter. Now, the fluid transporters are going to be very helpful, uh, but we we only need this to start to start with now i don't really intend on using this top area right now so i guess this guy can literally just go in here so i do need an extra item which i already have which is the hammer the engineer's hammer so we just need to make the hammer we place down this and we right click here and boom no coven so we made a coke oven and now we need tons and tons of coal and this is where one of these meteors comes in really handy now there's two types of meteors that i know of and there's one that comes with a bunch of coal as you can see so it's pretty great to come and just mine for all of this coal and the other one comes with obsidian so if you also need obsidian and crying obsidian as well 
uh, you can find the other version i like this version a lot because it came with tons and tons of uh coal blocks in the center and it has a bunch of coal here just waiting for me to come and pick it up so it's amazing and now we have a little bit of fortune this is actually very very handy now it's mostly on the surface so we won't find a lot of it deep down uh you may get lucky though but most of it will be just right on the surface here and next but not least we have to make the last bricks now these guys are easier i should say than some other mod packs that i played uh it's mainly uh quest to uh, yeah i put him oh my god well i shouldn't have spoken right there you go 27 blast bricks which means i can get my hands on more blast bricks and now we can maybe maybe get our hands on this thing right here which is some engineering heavy engineering blocks and then unlocking the building i want after a little bit of waiting around we now have steel ingots praise the lords we have steel you know i i was actually <laughs> having nearly a mental breakdown over the live stream because i really wanted steel and i didn't have steel and now i have steel and now i don't really know what to do because uh, i need more <laughs> yeah i'm gonna need tons and tons of steel but if you follow through the quest lines i want this and this i need to make one of these bad boys an every engineering block now we need to make some steel plates we can use the plate presser it's gonna need eight steel ingots to make me four so we can go ahead and place it over here does this have enough power no it does not so i keep forgetting what's my key binds that's why i keep opening the waypoint thing and uh, we're gonna toggle this into here yep so now it's gonna start powering this bad boy because this bad boy really needs a lot of power <laughs> I'm gonna let that through this sit here and the next thing we're gonna be needing to do is one table or two i should say we can trade with an immersive engineering mechanism villager but what i think we should do first is this engineer's workbench now we need to make this thing right here the engineer's crafting table uh, which is also the profession block for the engineer and then we need to make this bad boy which is the engineer's workbench. To do that, of course, we need treated wood and I have creosote oil being pumped into this very basic fluid tank using the fluid transporters they gave us. So going on to the engineer's workbench, we made the engineer's blueprint pretty easy. Iron, aluminum, copper, blue dye and paper. Put it over here. And then we want to be crafting one, two, we're gonna need a minimum of one more because i believe i have one right here yes i do so i'm just gonna grab a piece of copper from here and we do have some more here being made that's perfect it's even more than we need and just going up here again and we put there there grab one more and keep these guys for ourselves and the recipe afterwards is pretty basic just like so and boom we made it we now have well some more uh but what i hope that we have yes we do we have the immersive factory now this is a pretty good place uh, we also unlocked the alchemy castle somehow looks cute uh, I don't know where to put it though, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. We do have a bunch of heavy engineering blocks now. We do have some other quests from somewhere, I don't really know where. Uh, this one, we're kind of waiting on some resources to do. So it means that now we can try and do the super alloyer. Now, if you're looking and wondering that this area looks a little bit messy, well, it's uh, intended to be a little bit messy because it's temporary. This is the starting home after all. Uh, it only is going to have like basic stuff for us to get started. And this machine is kind of temporary. This one is also kind of temporary as well. 
uh, that one we can move freely the other one we can easily move as well the smeltery we can easily move to but ideally we would move to somewhere around this area right here we cut down these trees and we have a nice shoreline over here uh, we have access to this side which i'm hopefully gonna set up some boats some fishing boats over here because we do have a mod for that so let's go ahead and jump on over that way so i pretty much decided to level out this entire at level 65 so which is this one so i have to raise like this area and lower everything else and what we're gonna be doing here to start off is just go here and grab our amazing factory now this takes 31 by 31 by 31 um i don't know if this is enough space for it uh so this is the front of it yeah and as you can see i kind of need to clear a lot Ta -da! we now have our immersive factory yes it is facing this way so it still needs a little bit of work but if we go inside of this well there's a great deal many lanterns <laughs> going around here uh i guess some of them should actually be outside not inside well we're gonna make a feral flare lantern if we can do yeah okay i see why these lanterns are here uh, i guess here we can just put them over onto the walls and i don't need this one yep so basically it still has some lighting issues here and there uh, but we should be able to fix it with maybe stuff on the floor but like blocks on the ground not just a lantern on the floor and so here we go we have a perfect place to put our blast furnace and our coke oven right here to start working and giving us tons and tons of resources now this building looks amazing shout out to pikmanix like he did a great job with this like it looks insane uh it's just the started house as well looks crazy it did all of the other houses as well uh so they look pretty pretty good uh i do like this tower i want to get this tower but in order to do that we need the soldier electronic soldier so whenever we get this electronic circuit we're definitely definitely going to be putting that tower somewhere over here maybe over that way because that's basically our this is basically going to be our industrial area and i kind of want to go ham with this uh i'm gonna go for a lot of industrial or immersive engineering sorry uh i think i have a spawner do i have a spawner nearby what is that how do i have so many mobs they're running super fast so i'm guessing they're babies i have a bunch of mobs in here maybe there's like a big cave or something but yeah th this looks pretty good uh there's a chimney at the top uh two chimneys actually what is that one i don't even know what that one is <laughs> but, but yeah I have, apparently i have two chimneys like this building is pretty cool of course you could tear it down and just keep the blocks and like reshape it but I will, what I'll most likely do is just grab bricks myself and maybe do a lot of the other buildings around this theme because this looks pretty good. Well, taking a quick look at all these things and looks like I have a little bit of crafting ahead of me. Um, yeah, yep, I gotta do and I gotta do more modularium, uh, which means I probably need to go and mine a little bit more. I need blocks of redstoneium. Now, this is pretty easy. If I have, no. At the first glance, I thought, oh, this is gonna be tough. But no, it's actually just a couple pieces of redstone. So, kinda need a way to automate this. I don't know if I have an easy way to automate this early or if I just need to go literally like one by one. So, if there's a way to automate this very early, please let me know. <laughs> But so guys it is with this that we're gonna hand it here for today and I did quite a lot and I can't wait to get into more of these uh, machines and see how they work and how it feels to work with these. I do need to get into astral sorcery. I, 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 I don't really want to at the moment, but I know I have to go into this for some crafting and for some like for, for some machines apparently i missed the solar equips during the stream 
uh yeah and apparently there was like a rare constellation somewhere i don't know <laughs> i don't know what the hell happened <laughs> people told me things i believe them <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that's all for today guys hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe family and see you in the next one bye